it's great to be here on another edition of common sense with freddie and if this is your first time of joining this channel my name is coach wilfred asoko i am a capacity builder and if you are just joining us for the first time too please use the subscribe button below this video and join the community um, as a capacity builder i bring to you opportunities especially in the tech space where you can make your six figure you can scale as well as transition from minimum wage to six figure or from linear job to the six figure space i mean that's what interests me to coach a lot of people around the world all right and if case you want to take any of the tech certifications that are within my um, domain there are links below this video that can also help you get up to speed but today is still part of capacity building after making so much money especially if you live in the western world like here in the us or in canada a lot of people believe that buying a home is not a good investment and in one of my last videos which I'm sure um, you can check the link out, you will get some insights that buying a home in America, it's a huge investment. And in reaction to that video, many people made comments like, oh, homes in America, they are not yours. Even if after you've paid the house off, they are not yours. And I was like, why is it not yours they said oh you're gonna be paying property tax hold up a second that got me thinking i mean don't you want to pay property tax it got me thinking um i remember growing up in africa the state government the legal state government they used to come to the properties where i was living at the time to ask for tenement, is it rates or taxes? And this was their way of also collecting tax for those properties. And the question is, back home in Nigeria, Africa, these taxes were taken from um, the landlords, the owners of the properties. And as citizens or as tenants in those homes, we never saw the impact of those taxes that were being paid. And they were collecting these taxes year after year. And you'll be wondering, so what are they taking the taxes for? Now, here in the US, it is true, even after you have paid your whole entire property, you are still going to be paying for um, the property tax year after year. And the question is this, do you see the value of the taxes you are paying for the property? Absolutely. And I can throw more light on that. For example, a lot of our neighborhood here, they have cameras on the streets, on the roads, on everywhere you walk to, there are cameras everywhere. How about school bus that comes to pick up the kids and take them to school? The government schools, they are free for the children. My children go to school for free. Although they don't eat this, this school food, they take food from home. They serve them snacks for free. They serve them food, those students that are eating the school food. They serve them those food as well for free. So why wouldn't I take delight in paying my taxes for the property where the property is located? Why would I take delight in contributing to the development of that community or that society in which I am living? Ladies and gentlemen, it is high time we move away from the narrative of wanting everything in our lives for free. We don't want to pay for value. We don't want to pay for what is going to be able to give us sustainability we don't want to pay for services and goods that are beneficiary to us we want things for free can my african brothers and sisters move away from such narrative 
it is appalling that this is coming from our fellow Africans, adults in 2024. Now, think about it for a minute. Some will also feel like, oh, over the years, the house would have been would have depreciated, and then you have to put in some money to improve the house. Wouldn't you maintain your property? You're living in the property. The property needs maintenance. The property requires you to keep it up to date. The property requires you to be able to, I mean, keep it in good shape. Even your physical body needs maintenance. So why wouldn't you maintain the property in which you are living? Over the years, the value of the property will increase. Hence, the equity too will go up. These are important factors. These are very important that we understand. So, buying a property is very, very paramount. It is an investment. Some people will say, oh, your primary property is not an investment property. Who told you? It is a primary resident yes but it is also an investment property because you can take out the equity and to do other business sponsor your children in school take care of important projects it serves as a collateral for you so it's an investment property as well i might be wrong but i'm sure you know a lot of people they have used their primary resident to cash out to execute or take care of other businesses. Yes, you've heard me very right. So buying a property in America or in Canada, it is an investment. And I have said it before, the comfort you derive from buying a property, you cannot quantify it. It is very, very important we understand this. Yes. So. Are you still thinking? Are you still in your wonderland? Are you still ruminating or are you still confused? If you need to buy a property in America, it's not something you need to think about. Now, I want to leave you with the story. It took me a while to buy a property in America, not because I couldn't afford or I did not meet the expectations, but because we were going to be relocating from my primary resident state at the time to a different state now upon relocating um the prices of the properties and the um slight recession kicked in and the interest rate was so very high this was you know post covid which we are still in till now and trust me my family had grown a little bit bigger than living in an apartment whereby um, no space and then the kids were not going to have their own thing going in terms of playing space and then when I looked at how much I was going to pay for a house as a rent that was too big to, to be invested in an apartment instead of just getting into buy property and making it us and here's the property now um it was a huge strike it was capital intensive because of the huge interest rate and the properties are ridiculously very expensive but guess what the comfort the space you can see this is my basement where i call it man cave where i sit to do my thing and then Take care of business. This is where I teach. This is where I work remotely from home. And then the children have their own space. They do their own thing. Everyone got their own space in the home. How many years do you have to live on earth that you cannot give yourself a treat? And all because of ESA, it is not investment. It is not good to buy a home. And then you deny yourself comfort. You deny your family comfort. I want to believe that it is only the poor men and women that will say a thing like that. That it is 
not a wise thing to invest or to buy property in America or in America or in the in or in Canada. I want you to think twice. It is important you consider buying a home if you're living in this part of the world. Don't listen to side talks. Don't listen to what a lot of people are saying. Focus and then if you can buy one, please do not hesitate. Just like any other community, any country, property tax are being paid. That is how the government, they are able to maintain the roads. They are being able to maintain the street lights. They are able to take care of the school boards that are picking up the kids and dropping them off. That's how they are able to pay the teachers because the school system is free. This is how the government are able to manage and able to deliver the safety that you are enjoying. Just because your country in Africa, they are not accountable to those taxes that they take from you. Just because they are not accountable to the things that will make you more comfy, more comfortable. And you think that is how it should be or it is in this developed world. Far from it. I am a beneficiary of the taxes that other people are paying in their community. So having a property, I should feel delighted. I should feel delighted to also pay for those um, taxes, um, property tax, so that every other person can also enjoy and benefit from it. I think with this, you should be able to understand where I'm coming from, that buying a property in North America is quite important. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.